Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to build the crankcase cover for the Shame White Whiten gas engine in SOLIDWORKS. First thing I've done is uh, make sure my units are inches, pounds, and seconds I'm using plain carbon steel. And I have drawn a <clears throat> excuse me, three quarter inch square on the right plane, uh, plus or minus one use an equal relation, so keeping it simple. Um, and I'm going to take this and extrude it. Uh, we're going to go to the left to 0.68 inches. So this is what I'm starting with. And this is what a machinist would start with. They'd start with a square. Then it would go on a lathe left to right and get turned down. So uh, same situation as before, I want to put a plane through the diagonals like that. Uh, so that takes care of that. I'm going to hide this and I'm going to go ahead and sketch on this plane. and I'm going to start to draw my diameters. This is going to make a lot more sense once it's revolved, if you're confused. Basically what I'm doing is I'm sketching the geometry of the toolpath of the lathe. So if I were to revolve this 360 degrees, um, it's going to knock off all four corners, <clears throat> and then these diameters are going to start to take shape. I'm going to add an infinite length horizontal center line, and I'm going to start to dimension some features. The diameter technique works well here. All right, just uh, let's see. I see one, one missing dimension. Uh, unless this is it. Very strange that it would be in the other view, but <clears throat> there it is. <clears throat> Revolve cut, and because I cut along the diagonal. It removes everything, which is nice. So there's my there's my profile. I sketched it on the plane that was diagonal. If I didn't, um, this cut wouldn't work correct. So there it is. File save, and let's put a hole through it. Um, I'm going to sketch that on the right plane. all the way through. File save. Notice how I hit file save after every single feature I create because you never know. And now I'm going to use hole wizard and we'll put in the remainder of these. It says hole pattern same dimensions as crank case. So if we go back to the crank case we can see the dimensions. So there are 256 holes, <clears throat> but in this part they're going to be clearance holes, so they're 0 .086. So number 44 drill, we're going to say through all, and our positions are going to be on the same locations as the crankcase.
that's the finished crankcase cover no negative signs there are ways to transfer holes from the crankcase cover onto this component but that has to happen in an assembly and I may cover that next week with you guys so okay <clears throat> isometric view rebuild file save and I'm ready to move on to the next component